hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do phase detection using vision framework in expo react native for ios so let's get started we will be drawing a bounding box on that particular phase so yeah let's see how to do this inside expo react native app right so first uh, we need to go to this particular url uh, to create an expo react native project now there are different templates for creating this project so we will be using this blank typescript template so I will be uh, just copying this particular uh, uh, like uh, command to create Expo React Native project using this blank TypeScript template. The advantage is that it is has very less boilerplate code and it also has TypeScript support. That's why I'm using it. Now we need to give our app some name. So it will ask us for an app name. I'll just give it give it as my app. You can name it whatever you feel like. So let it do its thing. Uh, in the the next step which we need to follow is we'll just have to go to this particular URL. And just open it in a new tab uh, so first we need to go to the android device uh, go to de select development build i have disabled yes because we will be building it locally then select mac os i have already installed this command i have already installed this i have already installed this i have already installed android studio and i have already done all the required setup which is necessary for uh, which is mentioned in the documentation uh, okay then i have already set this android home path as well and i also set this uh, z shell or environment variables inside our shell then we need to run this particular command so i'll just copy it and here we'll have to cd to our app so our app has finished installing i'll run this command so let's just wait uh, for this to finish uh, in the meantime what we can do is we'll just scroll down and copy this command as well so this will basically help us to create the uh, android folder for us uh so this will actually create the uh, native android code which is necessary so i'll just copy this command and paste it again this will uh, run some things and it will create the android folder for us so don't worry too much about it uh, okay so that's it for the android part then you will have to go to the ios device part again select development build here you can disable des i have already installed xcode as well i have already installed xcode command line tools as well i have already installed watchman uh, we have already ran this command uh, so we don't need to run it again if you want you can run it and then we need to run this particular command so i'll just copy this uh, so here you can see uh, like before i uh, run this particular command here you can see for that android command which we ran i get this error now this is not really an error it is because uh, i don't have an android emulator installed and i have not connected my real android device that's why it is throwing me this error uh, it's not really an error uh, in your case it might be uh, might have selected the uh, android emulator whichever you have installed or a real device if you have connected it to your uh, laptop uh, but yeah we don't need to run it again you can just do Control c uh, to dismiss this because we haven't written any code so no point in running it again same thing happen same thing will happen for ios as well but for ios have do have a simulator installed uh, any which ways we are not going to test it on an uh, emulator or a simulator i'll test it on a real device then i'll just paste this command now this will take a little bit of time to run because it needs to uh, do all the cocoa pod installation as well so let it do its thing in the meantime what i want to show it to you is this particular doc so this will help us to create the uh, native modules for us in which we will be writing all the required necessary code so here is the uh, this is how we add a new module but we'll need to wait for this ios command to finish so let it finish then i'll come back and show it show the next steps to you okay uh, so here you can see it is asking me to run it on a simulator i won't run it i'll just press ctrl c uh, then like i mentioned we need to copy this command and paste it over here now this will ask us few questions like what should be our module name and all that stuff i'll keep everything as default and just press enter 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 and let it do its thing now given that uh, we have installed uh, this particular module uh, for ios we again need to run this pod installation command for our module as well so just go this and just paste this command as well uh, again now let it do its thing this is just a cheat sheet which i have created so don't get too confused again this will take a bit of time uh, so let it do its thing here you can see it is installing that module so what i will do now is i'll just remove this okay i'll just open our project so i'll just go so here is my project now what i'll do is i will uh, write down all the necessary code come back and then explain it to you uh, and show you guys the output as well 
okay so i have written down all the code let's go through it so first you will have to go to uh, src and here you will have to go to my module.type.ts and inside this particular file uh, these are the default props which are present uh, for our module so uh, we will be loading one image right but we won't be using react native's image view we have to use the native ui image uh, from native ios otherwise because uh, the vision framework works directly with that it is very tight coupling with that i don't know how to make it work with react native's image view that's why i'm using it so we need to embed a native ios view that's why we are doing this so here is our my module and this is the my module view props so we will comment this out because we don't require url on road and style so we'll just comment all these uh, things out and here is add ampersand view props uh, okay and we have imported this view props from react native as well uh, okay once this is done we will go to my module.swift file again uh, i'll just scroll up so we haven't done anything everything is the same just scroll down and here is our view and there will be some default code which one which might be present so i have commented everything out we don't require that default code but we, we require this view my module view dot self then you will have to go to this my module view dot self before that you will have to go to uh, samples uh, sorry you will have to go to your expo application go to my app whatever your, is your application name go to the ios folder and double click on this dot xe workspace it will open it for you in xcode then you will have to go to images and here you can see i have dragged and dropped these three images you can drag and drop whatever images you feel like unfortunately we can't drag and drop these images inside the root of your react native project that will not work so you will have to drag and drop inside it inside the images folder which is present by default uh, you can name it anything whatever you feel like but do remember this name because we'll you will need to use these names uh, like you require only one image uh, it's just that i want to test it with different image that's why i've taken these three images but do remember the name of the image because we need to use that inside of our code as well uh, so here is this my model view dot swift here i have imported ui kit here i have imported vision as well then here is our ui image view then here we are overriding the init method and here we just add our sub view like image view as a sub view to our parent view then we are loading this image so i'm trying to load this image called leak 2 so here you can see i have this image so you will have to change it to your own image name uh, so yeah make sure you do that and then we load it inside our image view then here is our ci image we convert it to a ci image then we use this vn detect face rectangle request and on the main thread we just do handle face detection request then we create an vn image request handler passing our ci image and on the uh, global background thread of user initiated type we just do image request handler dot perform pass our face detection request then we also override this layout sub views and we just set this image view dot frame equal to bounds then we do handle face detection results uh, then we get the observation results out of it we loop over all the observation and we then get a bounding box we pass the bounding box to this particular method uh, now even i have copied this code from chat gpt i'm not good at this but we get the image view size then we create a cg rect pass the x y width and height okay then we create a ui view out of it then we set the border width border color and background color and add it on top of our image view so it will help us to draw the bounding box on our image view uh, so yeah that's it now let's see how to use it so you can just go to app.tsx here you can import it my module view and this is how you can use it change the width and height to whatever you feel like uh, yeah that should be it one more thing which i want to tell you i think this uh, vision kit stuff which we have written it's it is supported from ios 18 i sorry not 18 ios 16 or 15 i guess but i have set the minimum deployment to 16.6 you can change the deployment to whatever you feel like is correct for you so yeah just be mindful of that i don't think it will work in ios 13 or 12 i think it requires minimum at least 14 or 15 but just to be on the safer side i have kept it as 16 so yeah that's it now let's see the code guys so as you can see over here i have was able to draw a bounding box on this image so yeah this is the output make sure you run it on a real device let me try for few other images as well and show it to you okay so i have used a different image and here you can see this is the output it was able to recognize for this image as well so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye